Okay, hello my wonderful female sower there and mainly women in this video. I'm not really talking to men in this video, but if you are a man and you watch this video, you might still gain something out of this. And I'm going to talk to you about women's clothing choices. And I don't have anything against freedom in clothing, you know? You have seen what I wear. <laughs> I embrace my freedom to wear this stuff, you know? There are some cultures, you know, that would kind of not be very okay with wearing the stuff I wear. But I feel that I'm free to wear this stuff and I embrace that freedom. So that's what you should do too if you are a female. And you shouldn't worry about being raped even though that might it might increase your chances of being raped if you for example used very sexy clothes. You know, it might increase your chance of being raped. Like, just get it, you know. Like this is a real threat to you. So. Be careful, but don't be too overly cautious about this. So I want to talk to you about females wearing sexy clothes and I don't mean in porn, you know. I don't watch porn at all. I quit watching porn. I have made videos about that. Porn, watching porn is like not good for you. But I noticed that like porn industry, you know, it kind of affects how females kind of, you know, dress also. Not overly so, but the things that kind of affect females dress are not the fashion, you know. Fashion doesn't really show in females clothing, you know, very much, at least here, or even in the capital city of Finland. Finnish people are all, like in general very not fashion conscious, you know, and Finnish people spend very little actually, actually very little on clothes, like very, very little money of Finnish like families and Finnish, uh, you know, singles, you know, and Finnish couples is spent on clothes. I don't know why people have the money, but most of it is spent th in things like cars, the homes, you know, that, ca that kind of stuff. And w when I look at females that kind of wear the, you know, the sexy clothes, I kind of think that it's kind of interesting and that's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of hot, but at the same time, it's kind of obnoxious, I think, that it's kind of annoying because it's, it's fucking a pain in the ass when you get a boner, uh, when you look at somebody and it's kind of, it kind of makes you unable to, at some points, you know, to like approach women, you know, I feel that it's very, it's, it's a very hard thing to actually pr approach somebody who is wearing too sexy clothes, you know, and I don't think that's a good way to go if you are a female. If you really want to look, kind of fly and kind of succeed as a woman, you know, like look into the high fashion stuff, it's very rarely very, very sexy, you know. It might be a little bit, you know, like sexy, but it more, more like makes you look kind of, you know, stylish and, you know, like beautiful. Like, like focus on something that has beautiful designs on it, you know, that kind of, you know, matches to your like curves and, you know, kind of like your hair, how you do it and this kind of stuff and the colors and that kind of stuff. It makes you look so much more beautiful than if you just, you know, use black and tight and, you know, sexy, you know, like leather and, you know, this, this, kind, of, this kind of boots, you know, this kind of stuff. I, I, I feel that that's, you know, that's so fucking, that's so fucking low, bro, because it's usually very low quality. Sexy clothes are very rarely those high-end quality clothes, you know. Think about the people that manufacture this stuff in some freaking sweat shop, you know, overseas, you know. Like, the most unattractive, like, people making the most sexiest clothes for you to wear. You know, that's no good. I also want to talk about, like, females who are not that attractive wearing very sexy clothes. I think that that's kind of... I, I feel that that's also very obnoxious. That's the word I want to use like here in terms of like sexy clothes that like real women wear like in real life. I don't talk about what you wear in the freaking, <laughs> in the freaking privacy of your home. Wear any freaking heels you want. I don't care about that or actually I do care about that but don't but wear that stuff in the real world also like do whatever you want i don't i don't care you have all the freedom in the world but 
I I just I'm I just want to say to you that like this is the this is the vision I have for your clo clothing decisions and choices if you are a, if you are a woman that has a lot of money and you can spend on this like choose those clothes that make you look good like if you are attractive like there's no fucking reason to be wearing the cheap Nike stuff if you have the money like you will look so much fucking better like like man it's just that very I just feel that very few women have any have any vision or any artistic art artistry in this like stuff, even though they say that women are very you know conscious about fashion. No, women are not conscious about fashion. Women are conscious and women are very, you know, like they follow trends. That's not fashion, you know. What what's fashion? Fashion is not the stuff that everybody wears, you know. It's, it's not about what everybody wears. It's about finding your own way. It's about finding your own freaking style. If your own freaking style is to be the sexiest fucking, you know, bitch ever, the like the freaking whore, then that's fine. You know, go with that. But don't like, don't like think that the most, you know, gentlemanly of the fellows, you know, so to say, will approach to you. No, probably not, you know. He will just look at you and be like, man, like, what is he thinking? Um, yeah. And you can also express yourself like through this stuff. And if, and you can, you can also, you can also like, for example, I'm thinking about this, that when you, for example, when I see like women that wear the, wear the, you know, the sexy boots, you know, like those, those that, you know, they walk so slowly with them. I think it's kind of nice in a sense that, uh, if you are if you are a real gentleman, you know you would ap you would like appreciate that because if your woman is very slow in his movements, you know you can do all kinds of style things together, you know. And for example, the Nikes, you know, the Nikes, you know that the shoes, well, the women are all about shoes usually. I don't know what 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 it is about women, but they will kind of neglect all the other parts of the outfit. Yes, yeah, shoes are important. But they are not the only thing, and very few people, very few females actually nowadays wear hats. Like, like fedora hats, for example, are very rare thing by females to wear, even though they make you look fucking sexy, you know. Like fem like fedora hats for females are made like high quality stuff is made for females, like fedora hats. Go get one, you know. It will make you so freaking hot, you know. H hats are fucking hot, you know, like for females. You should wear more of them. Yeah, you have your hair, but in the fucking winter time, you know, that won't help you much. So, you should look into this stuff. Like, you should really, like, you should really, like, think about, like, having a vision of how you dress, of becoming more like a character from a fictional world. And not so much about, you know, just being a person, just being yourself, or just being a billboard for Nike, you know. Like, that's, that's what i that's what i look for in people because i see in that you know artistry and not like slut cheapness you know <laughs> and it's not necessarily that if you wear the sexy clothes you know you are a slut but it might be that way i don't know maybe i should like look into that with my detectiveness thanks for watching man that was fun <laughs>